with that, we'll move to our next uh, presenter. Our next presenter is a lady as well, and from Uganda. <laughs> and her name is Joy Kukunza. Yes, this name I really had to spend some time to to pronounce it. You know, in Africa you have to add some vim to the names. In fact, if you don't add it, it looks like you are not doing justice to the name. So. Um, Sharon Kukunza. <laughs> Sharon uh, lives in Uganda and she's going to share um, a presentation on recognizing the spirit of truth in us. So, Sharon, if you are ready, the floor is yours. You can speak now in your presentation. Joy? Hello, Hello everyone. Nice to meet you. Uh, my network is also not very stable. So it might may be on and off, but I'm sure I will finish it. So sure. I'm presenting. We are, we are managing it, so thank you for that. So just relax and go. Okay. So I'm presenting recognizing the spirit of truth in us. I'm Joy from Uganda, Kampala. So the spirit of truth, which is the spirit of the father and the creator son, as it is said on paper 119, section two, paragraph 12. So to me, the spirit of truth is the ever present friend. He's a parent and he's a partner in my life. Even when I am alone, I am never lonely because he is always there to comfort, inspire, and stand with me. And, and the spirit of truth has a lot of meaning in my life, in my personal experience. And uh, in this presentation, I'm, I'm going to share so much of my personal experience from reading the Rantia book. Uh, the next slide, colleague. Uh, meaning of the spirit of truth to my life. He is the source of ever flowing courage. From paper 34, section 6, paragraph 5. Uh, this is True, he's an encouragement to my life, especially in my daily routines. Uh, the business can go slow, the income can decrease, and the bills can increase, and I can almost feel like I should just shut down everything. But when I'm at the weakest point, I feel highly empowered to stand strong and arise by the divine presence. And with that uplifting of the divine get good results. So I know even if times are hard, the spirit of truth will always be there to encourage me. So the spirit of truth is also a guide in the uncertain section seven, paragraph eight. It, the Rantia book tells us that the spirit of truth will always speak, saying, this is the way. So I am never scared of the unknown, and I'm a good risk taker. I do not worry or fear of things I don't know, places I don't know, because I am certain of the divine guidance. Next. The spirit of truth is in my life. Hello, Joy, are you there? Can you hear me? From Yeah, I'm hearing you. Okay, we lost you a little bit. Oh, please continue. Oh, sorry. So I'm on 
an interpreter uh, from paper 196, section three, paragraph six, it says, unless an interpreter lived in the mind of man, man could not fully realize the friendliness of the universe. So when I first met this Rantia book, when I first opened it, I saw it as a very complicated book to read. First of all, the vocabulary was very complex. The, new, the terms were hard, the grammar was hard, but the spirit of truth always gives me the wisdom to read and understand every day. So every day I read the Rantia book, I, I understand more interpretation of the spirit of truth. And the Rantia book is indeed a revelation to my life. I'm going to talk a bit on the spirit on, on the characteristics of the spirit of truth. Four, section six, paragraph 13. They say the characteristics of the spirit of truth are love, joy, peace, faith, temperance, long suffering, and and so many. Love, we are having a lot of the characteristics of truth in the lives of the so many people today in Uganda and all over the world. Today in Uganda, people are really caring. They are loving to each other. They're extending help and services to one another, especially in hard times like wars, pandemics. Uh, when I look back, in COVID-19, when everyone was locked down, I saw people providing for their fillers, food, clothes, so that we could go through this love which was flowing from people's hearts to others. Then the spirit of truth, there is joy in the spirit of truth. In this country, wherever you walk, the streets in the homes, in business centers, you see people smiling and rejoicing. It's not, um, some, of them, some of them have bills to pay, and they may not have the money to even meet all those things, but they are joyful in the spirit. So the spirit of truth to so people. When you look at peace, we have freedom in this country. Here in Uganda, we are free to live, to work, to sleep comfortably. We have no fear or worry. We have no instability. So we are free to do whatever we want. We are blessed with that peace in the spirit of truth. There is faith in the spirit of truth. For uh, example, the COVID-19 pandemic. I know everyone experienced that lockdown. It is only faith which led all of us to go through the lockdown experience. Because here in Uganda, they locked us. We didn't even ex we didn't even know about the lockdown. Uh, we had to go home without money, without by faith. You start a day by faith and end it by faith, only believing that God is going to take you through. There is there is temperance. In the spirit of truth, temperance, self-control. As youth, we have anything 
which we can do to make this life very easy, be tough, and we can make so many choices. For example, you can get red cuts, you can steal and get rich quicker. For a woman, you can have mouth pain and get money easily, urges, and make the right choices is a spirit gift. Deciding to work and to go through these downs and ups naturally without shortcuts is a divine guidance. So there is the the spirit of truth. There is also long suffering the spirit of truth. Uh, still, if I can give you an example from COVID-19. Uh, for me, this, the mask was very uncomfortable. Social distancing was very unusual to everyone. Staying at home was strange to everyone. Uh, in Uganda, so we had to stay home without working. But we had to go through all that long suffering by the fruit of long suffering of the Holy Spirit. And we patiently went through the discomfort. So uh, those are some of the characteristics of the spiritual truth. And then I also have indicators of the spirit of truth in our lives today. Uh, we can see that the spirit of truth is manifesting and working in the lives of people because you can see so many things transpiring in the world. There is worship today from paper 196, section three, paragraph six. The Rantia book says, only a spirit indwelt man can realize the divine presence and seek spiritual direction. So today the number of churches is highly increasing. People are increasingly surrendering the li their lives to the love of God as their only hope. So people are increasingly accepting the divine sonship. Which is, that, which is indicating that the today. Another indicator is love. From paper 196, section three, paragraph six, still it says, Man could not love his fellows unselfishly and unconditionally unless a divine lover indwelt his heart. Um, there are families which are based on true and unconditional love. They stay together, no, pero, they have children together, they nurture a very loving family, they live to they live to stand for each other in all situations unconditionally. Today there is service among men as an indicator of the spirit of truth in our lives. Uh, we are having individuals and charity organizations extending help to other people in need. Still in the in COVID-19 pandemic, we saw people helping others, organizations were extending help needs around. So the reserve is among men today as an indicator of the truth in our lives, spirit of truth in our lives. Um, there is unity in people today. For example, our culture here is highly united. We have so many occasions which bring us together. We eat together, we laugh together, we smile together. Uh, someone was talking about tribes in Uganda. So our tribe, the Vatoro tribe, if when a baby is born, we have to prepare a baby, a pet name. So we really have many ways. 
in unity. So hope, there is hope today still as an indicator of the spirit of truth in our lives. If you look at a pregnant woman, she only has to go through the, the nine months of pregnancy only by hope. She has to live by faith and hope that she will bring a new life to the world. Otherwise, without hope, no mothers would be existing in this world. Hello, Joy, are you there? And the brotherhood of man. You're not getting me. I'm there realizing the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man through the fruits of the spirit. So the dominance of the fruits of the spirit in the lives of men will destroy the selfish tendencies and such spirit guided individuals will live to manifest the fruits of the spirit in their life reactions. So with the fruits of the spirit, we can learn to love each other. If you find someone in need, you please help. If your friend or family has wronged you, please forgive. Tolerate each other, whether rich or poor, black or white, educated or uneducated, because we are all children of God. Call in Um, in my conclusion, humans need a framework in which to build their characteristics. So through building a righteous character, accepting God's guidance, becoming a light of truth. Otherwise, Otherwise, without nurturing these qualities, we shall continue. Uh, that has been my presentation. Um, I know my, my network has really been unstable, but thank you so much for listening. Thank I you uh, so much, Joy. <laughs> um, thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. Um, I know the internet, um, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but um, we still managed to. I hope uh, our audience were able to get much of um, Joy's presentation. So at this point, we have about eight minutes left. Any um, thoughts or question as far as uh, you were able to get? Um, the floor is open, please. Um, Jenny, you can help me if there's any hand up that I did not notice. Yes. Okay. I have a question, if I may. All right. I would like uh, to joy, share with us her experience in her mm -hmm. life to how she feels the love of God and how she express the fruit of the spirit in her life. Thank you. So um, Joy, I hope you got a question. Jenny's question is how do you express or experience the love of 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 of, of God or the joy of God in, in your experience? Did I get it right, Jenny? 
Yes, excellent. Thank you. Okay, so Joy, do you have anything to share on that? How you experience the love and joy of God in, in your life? Uh, I experience the love of and joy of God um, through his understanding ministry to my life. Like I said, he's my encouragement, he's my motivator, my comforter, inspirer. So I am never alone. I always feel the spirit of truth with me in whatever I do, in downs, and ups, in joy, in sorrow, always the love of God. I feel it around me. Thank you. Any question, uh, Jenny, is anybody's uh, hands um, up? Yes, delay. Delay. Hey, welcome, my fellow Ghanaian reader. Uh, the floor is yours, Clay. Uh, hi, uh, Joy. Um, I, I really understand uh, being in Africa too. I, I understand the network problems, but I felt your presentation was awesome and your slides are, are, were great. So I really got the gist of it, even though I didn't hear uh, your, your beautiful voice um, uh, very clearly. I got the gist of it and you are absolutely right. The joy and uh, uh, the, the truth of, of, of loving God and knowing God is beyond anything that uh, money can buy. Um, it's within us and uh, it, it, I just wanted to say you, you did an awesome presentation, little sister. Thank you. Thank you, Delay. Thank you. Uh, any more question uh, or hand up? Um, Jenny, is anyone's hand up? Let me see. Anyone else have some questions or comments? Any more question or thought or view for Joy's presentation? Uh, she shared on recognizing the spirit of truth in us. So um, any final view or question before we go on our break? Then we come back for another. Okay, so I see Sean's hand up. Sean? Sean, you can unmute. If your hand is up, uh, you can unmute and uh, we can hear you. Okay, I can't hear um, Sean, but I see Kat's hand up. Kat, do you have anything to share? Yeah, yes, uh, thank you so much, uh, Joy, for sharing. Uh, about the question uh, Jean asked uh, on experiencing, how does one experience the spirit of truth? Is, is that the question uh, that was asked, I think? I think, uh, I think so, yeah. one of the ways we, we experience this is through loving service to our fellows. That as we serve our fellows, we put out that we we practically we we practically eventuate our actually we actualize uh, what the spirit of truth in us is through our service and that way people can experience uh, such a spirit of truth who is in us practically for example uh, we have Collins we have uh, Helen. Uh, April Helen and all the hosts here who are doing this service today and the hosts of this whole Durantum, uh, they, they are doing a great service and this is what the spirit of truth is doing in them and practically we are seeing it. And that is how we are, and all of us, we are feeding on it, we can say. We are, we are enjoying the benefits, the fruits of this uh, spirit of truth in us. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to share for now. Thank you. Thank you, um, Kat. 
And uh, we do this with a very um, uh, loving heart or uh, much gratitude, you know. And sometimes when you go through all this and then you see the internet uh, situation, you just want to bury your head, but then you still carry on, you know. <laughs> so um, we're two minutes up. I don't know whether that's any more questions. Um, is it Delai or Sharon? We have, if you have any, okay, one minute for Delai. Also, we have Jeffrey raising the physical challenge. Okay. Okay, so let, but let, I just want a quick question to Joy. Joy, as a as a young uh, uh, woman, uh, some of us are a, a bit on the upper stories of life, but uh, as a young person looking at, at the world today, as the events are unfolding, as, as you see it, and there's a lot of um, uh, not truth in, in the world today, how do you, uh, or your friends or your, uh, you know, um, see it, uh, uh, find the spirit of truth uh, in our, your expression uh, on your day-to-day -day lives. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Sharon.